Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Nandito na naman po si Yuri Saito to learn with me, brand ambassador ng World of Feng Shui and Business Associate. Ano ang ating pag-aaralan ngayong araw na to? It's all about the auspicious rituals. Uh, yung swerte, mga ritual. Uh, bago mag-Chinese New Year. 2022, Year of the Water Tiger. Chinese New Year falls on... February 1st, 2022. So, ang Chinese New Year is February 1st tayo ngayon. This day is the most important day, importanteng araw po ito ngayon. Uh, ano, February 1st. A day when tradition is best observed as faithfully as possible in order to ensure that abundance and prosperity follows throughout the year. So, Chinese New Year It's so important that preparation begins as early as a month before the new moon appears. New moon appears. So, new clothes to buy. Kailangan natin yan. Food to prepare. Home repairs to do. Flowers to order. And altars to clean. Kailangan linisin natin lahat before Chinese New Year. Everything just to make sure that the house gets a thorough of spring cleaning. And if possible... To bring in some new furniture for the year. Oh, kailangan natin yan. Kailangan natin, ano, ah, ah, put it in our mind, okay? The house should also be decorated with fruiting lime trees. Nako, kailangan ipasok ko ngayon yung lime tree ko sa loob ng aking opisina. As well as flowering plants. Kailangan talaga mga bulaklak ilagay natin ngayon sa loob ng ating bahay. And two, Invite in fresh new ano opportunities for wealth and career progress to all at home. So auspicious sonnets, especially with the Chinese word "fuk" or ano Chinese word for good fortune. Fuk, fuk, F U K. Okay, are commonly strung up at the entrance of the home, along with some red lanterns to add more auspicious energy. To this biggest Chinese celebration of the year. Nako, kailangan kong orderin ngayon yan. So, World of Feng Shui. Ano, may mga orders na ako pero kailangan makuha ko yan before Chinese New Year. O ngayon, things to get done before Chinese New Year. Ano ang dapat ninyong gawin? Kailangan make repairs. Ano, lahat na mga ano sira-sira natin dyan sa mga ano natin, bintana or whatsoever. Gawin na natin. Make repairs. Family should start checking their homes for any defects. Kailangan natin yan. Ensuring that everything works well in the home prior to Chinese New Year. Now, repairs must be made for leaking toilets. Yung toilets natin. Broken faucets. Broken roof tiles. Leaking ceilings. Meron ba tayo? Wala. And so forth. Okay, lahat ng ano... Uh, dapat i-repair, i-repair na. So, leaking water implies loss of wealth. O, oh, ayan na, tandaan ninyo. Kung leaking water, <laughs> right, gumin, leaking water implies loss of wealth as well as loss of health. So, ngayon, tignan ninyo kung bakit kayo nagkakaroon ng sakit minsan. It's because of the leaking water sa inyong, ano, ah, uh, ah, uh, kitchen. Okay? Anything that affects the kitchen or dining room, ayan na, can have a nasty impact on your rice bowl. Ayan, kailangan alam ninyo, hindi superstitious belief ito, this is true, okay? Other areas that are critical to repair are areas around the main door as well. Kailangan tignan ninyo ang main door ninyo. Okay, kailangan malinis yan, malinis before Chinese New Year as well as your bedroom. Kailangan ayusin natin ang bedroom. Crack walls and broken doorways can cause serious problems when carried into the new year. So, kailangan ayusin na natin. If you can, you should also give your home a fresh coat of paint each year. ba? Diba? Each year. Or at least once every two years. To start the year with a clean slate and to bring you many new opportunities for improvement. Ngayon, you must focus on spring cleaning. Nako, aayusin ko na naman yung kaayos ko lang, kalilinis ko lang. Kailangan ko na naman linisin ang aking bahay at ang aking opisina. We need to have 
spring cleaning and this means removing last year's rubbish mga ano mga gumi mga basura okay mga hindi na natin kailangan and this includes old print and newspapers magazines books plastic bags nako ang dami kong alam niyo sa totoo lang nung paglilinis ko lang dito sa aking opisina marami akong ano nakasampung ano yata ako bag ng ano ng gummy bag broken containers bags and clothes you want to throw out ayan <laughs> dahil sa paghahanap ko ng passport ko ang dami kong ano mga hindi ko na kailangang damit na iuuwi ko ngayon sa Pilipinas at ipamimigay sa mga nangangailangan sa Pilipinas allowing clutter to build up aggravates problems that you face now also check your uh, cutlery and crockery and dispose those that are chipped ano, cracked or that show signs of damage. Lahat na mga ano, uh, mga pagkain na, ay ano, pagkain tuloy. Mga ano, mga crack, uh, crack, may crack na yung pinggan, may crack na yung, basta lahat na may crack na ginagamit natin. Lahat, that is bad feng shui. Damage utensils are sign of broken luck. Okay? And they are, they bring the home bad feng shui. So, this affects the prosperity of the family. So, alam nyo na, kailangan lahat ng mga crack, lahat ng mga damages, tanggalin na. Okay, check your beds for damage. Sleeping on damage or broken beds will bring obstacles to everything you do. Mm, ayan na, lahat, ano, tignan ninyo kung ang tinutulugan ninyo ay may damage. Ano, kapag may damage yan, ibig sabihin kahit na ano ang gawin ninyo, yan ay balakid sa inyong success. Success will be afflicted when the bed frame is damaged. Okay, this also creates rift in your business relationships as well as your personal personal ones, including your marriage. So, kailangan tignan, nin, tignan na natin ang ating higaan. Inspect cupboards and drawers and get rid of mismatch socks <laughs> ano yun ano, hindi na magkapareha yung ano, yung yung ano ninyo, yung socks, ano ba yung socks, nakalimutan ko na sa Tagalog, medyas okay so, uh, or uh, torn or thread worn undergarments shirts, pants, and damaged shoes Dispose na yan o kaya i-repair. Dispose of clothes you have not worn in more than a year. Okay? Clearing out your cupboards symbolizes removing negative energy and also creating space for new things to come to you. Alam nyo sa totoo lang, dahil sa passport ko, nalinis ko ang mga ang wardrobe ko. Ang dami kong hinahanap na mga damit na hindi ko, ano, hina, ay mga damit kong hinahanap ko na pwede pang gamitin, na talagang maganda, bagong mga damit. So, ano, uh, nalinis ko talaga, na, nalinis ko ang wardrobe ko. Ngayon, number two, re-stock your kitchen. Okay? You must enter the new year with a completely re-stock kitchen. Start with your cupboards and refrigerator. Kailangan linisin natin yan. Remove and dispose of any expired food stuff. Clean out your rice urn. Ako, kailangan kong linisin ang aking rice urn dahil matagal na yung bigas doon. Okay? Rice your, ano, kasi hindi kami masyadong kumakain ng kanin. Ah, uh, ano, anong tawag dito? Ang isang kilo sa amin inaabot ng isang, ay isang kilo, isang, ano, um, ang five kilos sa amin inaabot yan ng isang taon. <laughs> Ngayon, um, clean out your rice urn, wash and dry. Nako, kailangan kong gawin yan. And fill to the brim with new rice. And keep your rice urn at least three quarters full throughout the 15 days of Chinese New Year. Huwag ninyong pupunuin. Konti lang. Next, stock up your refrigerator for the Chinese New Year as it is important that there is food in the home to last throughout the 15 days. Ngayon, number three, update the feng shui of your home. Ako, na-update ko na yan. Uh, last year pa, na-update ko siya. Kasi, ano, yung energy ng taon is nagbago na. So, Inayos ko yan since ano, um, December 21 nag-start. Ngayon, update the feng shui of your home. You should update the feng shui of your home after December 21. O, di ba? Natapos ko yan. 
winter, ano, during winter, and before February 4, 2022. Okay? Which is the start of the solar year. Indeed, many observe the traditional method, which is to start doing this after the winter, uh, after the winter, as this marks the changing of the Taisui. What is the Taisui? It is the god of the year. The annual three killings are believed to take effect from this date as well. So, what is the three killings? Loss of loved ones, loss of good name, at saka loss of wealth. Where is the, uh, where is the uh, three killings located? It is located in the north. So, affected the, uh, there is the rat and anong tawag dito ang ano, direct conflict ng uh, horse, which is the south. So, now, for the annual lotion numbers, take uh, they take effect of February 4th, which is the day of the Lapchun. What is the Lapchun? Lapchun is spring. So, if you are planning to reuse your feng shui cures, you need to wipe them clean with a damp cloth soaked in cleansing water. Huwag ninyong lalagyan ng asin. Okay? At kailangan ang panlinis ninyo ay kailangan bagong towel, yung maliit na towel, okay? But it is always best to use a new cure. Kung ano ang mga cures kasi, kailangan bago. Kailangan bago kasi i-cure natin yung taon, di ba? Ano, pero kung mamahalin yung mga binili ninyo, ano, pwede ninyong i-reuse nyon and then add, add more. Because we need more, ano, we need more cures rather than pampaswerte ngayong taon na to, okay? Ngayon, if you are planning to reuse your feng shui cures, you need to wipe them clean with a damp cloth soaked in cleansing water, but it is always best to use a new cure. Do realize that feng shui remedies work by absorbing bad energies from the past year. Gusto nyo bang yung ano, yung yung ano, yung nakuha o na-absorb na bad energy ng ano ng ng cures ninyo eh nandiyan pa rin ayaw ninyo di ba so kailangan natin siyang itapon so if you intend to reuse the cures needs to be cleansed with cleansing water okay once you have completed updating the feng shui of your home you should perform the space cleansing ritual ano yon so now we go on how to prepare cleansing water eto na kailangan tandaan ninyo o jot down notes ano isulat na ninyo kung ano ang cleansing water na yan cleansing water requires flower petals from five kinds of flowers kailangan limang petals okay kailangan may limang petals na magkakaibang flowers okay it is best if you can get flowers representing the five elements the blue it is water yellow it is the earth green it is the wood the red is fire earth is uh white is metal and leaves from the kaffir lime you can use fresh limes or lemons if you cannot get kaffir leaves okay lemon and also add one table table spoonful of sea salt ano kanina sinabi ko hindi lalagyan pero dito konti lang konting asin lang one table spoonful of salt sea salt soak the above in a bowl of water and place in the sun for 10 minutes before using it rinse your cleaning cloth cleaning cloth in the mixture is squeeze dry and then wipe all your remedies enhancers and auspicious good luck charms as well as all the symbols of good fortune in your home you can also use this water to clean your home altar and statues now how to perform the space cleaning cleansing ritual eto kailangan ano tandaan po natin okay how to perform the space cleansing ritual open all your windows and doors and switch on all the lights it is best to do this during the daytime wag sa hapon wag sa gabi so light sandalwood incense with kemen yen yung mga binibili ninyo sa akin ano plus one tablespoon of purifying incense powder in incense burner meron po ako dyan meron po akong powder okay and then chant the 
नामा सार्वता त गाता आवा लो कहते ओम सम्रा सम्रा हूँ as you walk around its room seven times in clockwise direction while visualizing the negative energies coming off your walls kailangan i-visualize mo na tapos habang nagchichan ka ng mantra ng Nama Sarva Tata Gata Avalokite Om Sambra Sambra Hung Nama Sarva, Nama Sarva Tata Gata Avalokite Om Sambra Sambra Hung for seven times clockwise okay you can also ring the seven metals ringing bell di ba meron tayong ringing bell may ringing bell tayo or stroke the singing bowl meron din ako nyan for added and enhanced ano effect Leave the doors and windows open for at least one hour after the ritual for bad energy to exit. Para mawala, ano, umalis sa bahay mo, exit the home and to allow good luck energies to permeate the home as the incense dissolves and removes any negativity within the home. So mga kapat ay mga kaibigan dito na po nagtatapos ang ating ano uh, important reminders or uh, rituals before Chinese New Year. May part 2 po tayo. Ano uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, just click the button, uh, share, uh, click the tiny button para ma-notify po kayo sa aking upcoming Uh, mga videos. Ako po si Yuri Saito na nagsasabing, hate what is evil and hold on to what is good. Do not let evil defeat you. Instead, conquer evil to good. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.